what they go do with me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear in the crowd. I'm the boo, baby. Buddy, so soft, ain't that shit just so smooth, baby. Kissing all your butt. Y'all, it's your girl, Brianna Imani, and you're here for another talk of the town interview. And today, let them know who we got in the building. So it's your boy, Eugene Black. Um, Yo, e go get her. Wait, give me a second. Give me a second. Ooh. All I gotta say uh -huh. is about to be the most legendary interview talk of the time ever had. Just saying. Okay, Just I saying. mean that is a very bold statement because we've had quite a few interviews on here. Yep. So I mean, I, I like the energy. I'm, I'm here for it. We I'm putting confident. it out there. This is gonna be the best interview talk of the town ever had. Let's see. Facts manifesting it. We manifesting it. All right. So tell us about yourself, Eugene. Where are you from? Okay, so I'm from the Bronx, New York, the South Bronx, South to be Bronx. exact. Okay, okay, um, okay. I'm Puerto Rican and black. Okay, you know, nice. a little mix and mix. I heard right? you throw a little Espanol in a couple of your songs yeah, when I was yeah, listening. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So what is it? what was it like growing up in the Bronx? Like, who were your influences while you were growing up? I would say, because my parents, like, the music that they listen to is very diverse. Okay. So, like, my mom would listen to church music, like... Kerr Franklin, yes, Fred Hammond, Donnie McClurkin, Donnie yeah. exactly, you already know, but then she also listens to R&B, like R. Kelly, Tyrese, you know, the Jodeci's, the New Editions, right, 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 and then my dad's side, I would listen to like Mark Anthony, Hector Lavoe, you know, Spanish music, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but then he also listened to, which I feel like this would raise me with my hip-hop, like the hip-hop that I love is mm -hmm. like the Nas. Okay. The Jay Z, the Tupac, right. and Bad Boys. Like right. P Diddy went to the same high school as me. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. So you know, like I feel like that generation of music mm -hmm. is what I want to bring back into hip hop. Okay. So would you say that those are like your influences, like the people that you named, or is there Definitely. somebody else that influenced you and in make into making your music? I would say those are my influences growing up, mm -hmm. and of course now, like of course, like also the Fifty Cent, the DMX, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But I also feel like now. Um, like Tory Lanes, okay. Um, the Drakes, mm -hmm. XXX, uh, Long Live Pop Smoke. Mm -hmm. You know, like people who didn't just stick to just one thing. Right. Someone that like, all right, I could rap, mm -hmm. I could sing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I could do some pop music. Yeah. You know, I, I, that's how I make my music. And we're gonna get into your versatility because that is something that I noticed as I was like going through your tracks and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, you have a whole bunch of different sounds going yeah. on. So we will get into that. But I'm just so curious, like, when did you start making your music? So I started making music six years ago. Okay. My freshman year at Delaware State University. Nice. Shout out to DSU. Shout out to HBCU. You already know the vibes. Mm hmm But um, I was just going through a lot at the time. Okay. And I was trying to find an outlet to, like, get the things off my chest, my pain off my chest. Mm hmm So music just found me. Okay. And then now I just love it. I'm hungry. I'm starving. I mean, well, that's good. And that's the perfect mindset to have. So what was it? Like, you... Just like one day, we're like, let me just put a pen, put my pen down, and like see what I could do. Or was it like something you always thought about, and you didn't have like that motivation? Like, what was it that propelled you into making music? Okay, so what I used to do, I used to, cause I always was singing okay. since I was young, okay, like okay, in the okay. church and stuff. Mm -hmm. But what I used to do was go and go up to girls, and I used to sing "Usher" nice and slow. Oh, you know it's. Uh, it's seven o'clock on the dot in my drop top cruising the streets. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you know what I mean okay, like I'm you sorry. know, you know just to be like oh yeah, I'm, yeah like I sing and stuff. Mm -hmm. So one day I was sitting at my lunch table at DSU Comrade, and um I was covering track in college too. Okay, right? talented. Okay, exactly. Like you already know it. the vibes. Time we out. Like to see it. <laughs> Okay, so you were sitting down and... Yeah, I was sitting down, and I was just um singing to my teammates and stuff. Mm -hmm. Same song, everything. These two people next to me just started recording me, mm. right? And they was like, oh, yeah, we have this group called um, SWAYU, which is an organization at my school, right? Mm -hmm. So they did, like, poetry, rap, singing, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, like, we love your voice, you should... Try to come to one of the meetings and stuff. Mm -hmm. Of course, it didn't catch me right away. Cause I wasn't into making music. I just sang. Mm -hmm. Like, that was just my thing in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So then afterwards, like, I, I went to one of the meetings. And then people started liking my music. They started, um, one of the kids that I know, shout out to Gene Gray. Mm -hmm. He brought me to the studio. And then that's it. Six years later, I love this. I'm hungry history. now. The so what was the, what was the reaction from, like, your family when you were making music when you started making your music like 
I feel like my mom in the beginning was like, like not confused, but more <laughs> like, more like just trying to understand what I was trying to do with it. You know, she always support me. Of course. Always support me. But then after a while, of course, in the beginning, I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. I wasn't good. I wasn't good in the beginning. But then I made like a song called Love, the one that had the little okay, Spanish yeah, in it. Yeah. And then she was like, one day I, we was in the kitchen or something. And she was like, oh, she was like, truthfully, in the beginning, your music was ass. <laughs> I keep in the room with you. She I mean, real hey, me. you can't only have yes men in your corner. You nah, need facts. somebody who's going to keep it real with you because you won't facts. get better without it. Exactly. So that's funny. But so, uh, your mom was supporting you. Yeah, so my mom was supporting me. And then I did love, and then I did O, oh, and then I just kept on going. Okay. Then last year I started rapping, mm -hmm. and then since then, like I always wanted to rap, mm -hmm. but I didn't. I felt like I didn't have that confidence. Okay. At the time. Okay. But now it's like I have that confidence. I know. I know how I could spit bars. I know what I could do. Mm -hmm. And then it's just an extra thing that I could sing now. Right. You know, on top of that. I, I noticed that because I, I was thinking like I heard oh and when I heard oh I thought of a song that I used to listen to a long time ago what was it? called Excuse Me Mama by Michonne and I don't know if you know no, it I don't, I don't. but like the sound sounds very similar to mm -hmm. me and it was like a love song like very like nice and I'm listening yeah, yeah, like yeah. to your early songs it was like very nice and then I noticed a shift <laughs> <laughs> there was a shift as time went oh, on man. and I'm like okay we're not talking about just loving chasing after your Girls bitch that was yeah. like we getting money and popping pussy and yeah. all that and i was like what happened here Where did so like i'm i'm interested in knowing because you said like you got that confidence yeah is that what like led you to start making a different type of music or was it more so like what it's trending right now. I don't feel like it was the trend. Okay. I feel like it was my experiences. Okay. I feel like, truthfully, like in the last five years, I just been through a lot. Okay. You know, family situations. Um, last year I got in a car accident, mm. a real bad car accident that had me out for like eight months. Well, I'm happy to see you here. I'm so, sorry. So you know, I'm I'm grateful. Mm -hmm. God is good at the end of the All day. Time. So it's like last year that happened, and I didn't really get to promote. Peru, I didn't get to promote Get Down Low. Mm -hmm. Didn't really get to get my name out there. Mm -hmm. So it was like this year, I'm like, I'm taking over. Mm -hmm. I don't care what anybody got to say. I'm hungry. I'm starving. Yes, and you brought up Peru, and I know it's out, it's hot, it's, it's doing it's numbers, up, it's yeah. doing numbers on YouTube, and you even went as far as saying that it was gonna be the song of the summer. It is gonna be the song of the summer. So, what do you think about it? Is really like, what do you think in, comp in comparison to the other songs that you have out? Mm. What do you think it is about Peru that is like? That's like, why it's such a hit. Yeah, I feel like. Cause even even when I was writing the song and stuff, I started thinking about even when you hear it from the beginning, it says, "I was on the train, riding on the six, not flexing no whip, mm -hmm. got nothing in my pocket, got n not a dollar, yet nothing to spend." Mm -hmm. It's talking about my struggle, talking about where I want to be. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's rules. Like I, I did a post where it's talking about like rules to being in Peru, where it's like, okay, all right, I lived in the hood mm -hmm. for a certain part of my life, mm -hmm. then I moved. Mm -hmm. That means I'm elevating in life. I'm doing bigger things. I'm in Peru. Right? Okay. So, if I come across as a little slow, I'm sorry. No, that's cool. Are you talking about Peru, like, the the country? Um, yeah, Peru in the country. Peru is the country. But I don't, I'm don't. i not taking it as saying I'm in Peru. Uh -huh. What I'm saying is, like, it's a lifestyle. A way of wanting more in life. A way of mm. being better in life. Not settling for less. Being more hungry, go towards your goals, go towards your dreams. Mm -hmm. Don't don't let somebody stop you from doing your dreams. Mm -hmm. Be motivated, be hungry. Because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you only got one life. Mm -hmm. You know, so we gotta live it strong. We gotta do what we love. You so, know? and I, and I stand by what you're saying, 100. Yeah. percent But like, why Peru? Why not like Cancun or Bali? No, it's funny. Or Tulum. My mom <laughs> said she was like. You Puerto Rican. Why you didn't say I'm in Puerto Rico, baby? <laughs> I mean, I was, I was wondering it too. But I'm like, maybe you thought it was gonna be a little cliche. Nah, it don't. It don't like, go together. Was, that's why. Okay. It just didn't fit. Like it didn't fit the melody. Okay. Cause it's like if I'm like I'm in Puerto Rico, baby. You see, it don't fit. But like I'm in Peru, baby. Okay. You know? I hear. Okay, I feel 
it. So it was all about the way that the flow. The yeah, the melody, went. the flow uh-huh. and stuff. Yeah. So how do you feel about, because you are from the Bronx, so mm-hmm. I know you already know, like, drills, what's going up right now. Yeah. A lot of attention has been focused on these drill artists. Yeah, and, facts. You know, especially when, when we think of the Bronx, that's what comes to mind. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like R&B, upcoming R&B artists are kind of like, Taking a back front, or do you feel like no, no? Because look, Capella Gray, mm-hmm. he's doing his thing. I feel like for me, of course, I do R and B, but I'm, I'm mainly a hip hop artist. Mm-hmm. But you know, I do R and B, dancehall, mm-hmm. reggaeton, stuff like that to the side. Mm-hmm. But I feel like R and B can be up in in New York. Yeah, I feel I feel like it depends on what what the people want, also what the blogs and and the radio stations play to. Mm-hmm. It all depends on you guys. It all depends on the artist, too. So what would you say if you had to, like, comment on the state of upcoming artists? Well, who do you think is getting the most focus right now? Drew artists. Drew In artists. New York, definitely Drew artists. Okay. But I feel like I feel like we could do better, though. Mm-hmm. What I mean by that is, like, okay, you got the K-Flocks, you got the B-Loves. They doing their thing. You got the Dougie B's and stuff. You know, they their music is not actually bad. They actually good. They sound mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. But then it's like... Some dudes just doing anything on the beat. Really? And at that point, I feel like you just you just jumping on the trend. Mm-hmm. For me, when I did Peru, mm-hmm. I didn't jump on the trend. Mm-hmm. I just felt like it was something I wanted to do, and I felt like I could I could put my little sauce on it. Speaking of trends, I heard something real interesting in one of your songs. Cause okay. you, I I wish I could remember which song it was, but you was like Big Bird. I said Pooh. Oh uh, yeah, yeah yeah yeah, get down low. So. I mean, I feel like there. No, I said big. Also, I said um big, brr, like like uh Corey Lerae. Like Corey, oh, I think it was Corey. Purr, yeah, big, brr, big yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I feel like even with that, there are some trends that because mm-hmm. even with your sounds, I feel like, like I said before, looking at different stages of music of your song specifically, right. it seemed like it kind of followed like what was happening now. So not mm-hmm. necessarily saying that your music has like a drill type of feel. Right. But I feel like it has that melodic feel that's still kind of like, mm. you on time in? Like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It kind of gave me like a little, nice little feel, I guess. I would say. I don't know. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but you say that it's all up to you. You're versatile. You make whatever yeah. you want. So what can we expect like coming up? Because I know Peru is going mm. up but what else is in the works like what i'm working you- on a project right now mm-hmm. and in this project it's oh man so many different sounds of course there's drill in there a couple drill a couple real hip-hop because mm-hmm. i care about real hip-hop what's wanna, real hip-hop to you real hip-hop is just lyrical rap and it does it can still be it can still be swaggy it can still have some flow to it mm-hmm. but it's still being lyrical like talking about real stuff Okay. Not, you know, no cap rap, nothing like that. Mm-hmm. You know, so I feel like I have lyrical rap. I have the reggaeton songs, mm-hmm. you know, dance hall, mm-hmm. R&B. But then I got the real hip hop stuff at the same time. Okay. So who do you think, like, your audience is? Who would you say? I'll say everybody audience? because I can reach everybody. I can reach everybody. And, like, I feel like my music mm-hmm. is what New York really is. Because if you really think about what like New diver- York is, the diversity of, the diversity of what New York is, mm-hmm. if you really think about it, you got the West Indian people, mm-hmm. you got the Spanish people, mm-hmm. you got black people, you got people who live in the hood that like drill music, I right, bet. Mm-hmm. I feel like I could hit everybody. Or okay. even with pop music, too. I could do pop music, too. So who would you like, if you had to name five people that you would like to collab with, who would they be? Okay. So I have, t- I have two lists for me, if I can, if I can add. What's the tool? So I want to say artists that are like at my level or maybe like a little upcoming? bit higher, up and coming, okay. up and coming artists, and then artists that are already there. Like mainstream. Okay. Mainstream Go ahead. artists. So for mainstream, I would say Drake. Um, I would say Little Baby, mm-hmm. Lil Dirk, uh, Anuel, he's a reggaeton artist. Okay. And then one of my favorite artists right now is uh, Central C. Central C is it from the UK. Okay, nice. So that's yeah, what I really, like. So yeah. I listen to a lot of like different, different diverse music and stuff. Mm-hmm. I say up and coming. I like Lola Brooke a lot. Nice. She nasty out the city. Mm-hmm. She nasty. I like Lola Brooke, Young Devin. Um, I want to work with the girl code too. So you in tune with the female? Yeah, I'm in, I'm in tune. Nice. I'm in tune. I feel like they nasty. Like I saw they on the radar thing. Crazy. Mm-hmm. The freestyle. I, I'm not even gonna lie. They rapping better than dudes. Ooh. 
Some of the I mean, I've heard. I've, I'm being truthful. I've heard that quite a bit. Like, I'm being this truthful. is the time for female rap. Nah, facts. What do you think it is, though? Like, what is it about their, like, female rap that you think that they're doing right now better than... I was talking to my girl about this, right? Mm -hmm. Because we watched, like, On the Radar. By the way, you guys should have me on there. I got this crazy (laughs) freestyle. Just had to put that in there. (laughs) But but seriously, though, like, me and my girl was talking about it. And Mm -hmm. she was like, as a woman, she feels like women take things, like, take things more serious or very particular about the way they do things. So maybe that might be a reason, okay. but I just feel like the girls are the girls are doing their thing. Hmm. The girls are doing their thing. Definitely out the city, definitely doing their thing. So have you always been in tune, or is it just now that they're going up that you? you I feel like I feel like since I got in that car accident, I started mm. being more in tune, like just with music, mm. just understanding what what I'm doing, mm-hmm. what other people are doing. Mm-hmm. You know why are they big and why I'm not there yet? Mm-hmm. You know, and then I started learning. So what would you? What were some things that you took from that? Because you just said you were looking at like why were people, certain people big mm-hmm. and you weren't. So what were a couple of things that you would say you took from that as to what you could improve? So on? for me, right? Mm-hmm. So for me, I feel like you can have the talent. You could be. You could be nice. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel about myself. Mm-hmm. I feel like I can rap. I can sing. I could do a little Spanish. I could do. You know, I could hit different areas. Right. But it's about your marketing. Mm. At the end of the day, if you don't got your marketing. You just to do it on the street. Mm. Just to do that didn't get recognized. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's about your marketing. Oh, how can I, for example, perfect. This is perfect, mm-hmm. right? I'm on Talk of the Town. Let's do this interview. Right. Let me get my face out there. Mm-hmm. All right? That's marketing. Mm-hmm. Let me do this TikTok video. Let me pay some people. Do this TikTok stuff. That's marketing. Instagram marketing. It's just another way of getting your face out there. Right. And coming because the media... Media and also like um the internet is so big, mm-hmm. you can hit so many different fan bases and everything. Yeah, cause wait, my girl. Mm-hmm. So it's like for example, like the reason why Peru is so big, I had this kid do a TikTok video, it hit a million views, mm. right? Mm-hmm. To the point where now my song is not just in New York, but it's in Los Angeles. I had people hit- hitting me up from Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. I don't even know you, mm-hmm. but it's fire though. It's fire. Seeing the support, right. people from Texas, people from Chicago, Atlanta, people from overseas. Mm-hmm. They play my part. They play my song at a at a party overseas. Nice. So it's like that's also the reason why I said it's gonna be song of the summer. Mm-hmm. Why and, not me? And you, you like right before you said that, I was gonna ask you how important you think TikTok has been mm-hmm. to like assisting in your level up. Right. Because I think that a lot of music that's trending, especially like in New York, like. You get some traction on TikTok. You were just talking about like getting sturdy and all of Mm -hmm. that stuff. Like that's really what's getting people's eyes. So you would say that it's been a good marketing tool. Exactly. Way the best. I'm not even going to lie. Like if you really up and coming Mm -hmm. and trying to do your thing, Mm -hmm. yo, go and do that TikTok. Okay. It might be because in the beginning I didn't want to do it. But let's point back to mom again. She told me. Yes. She was like. Mom always knows. She was like, go do the TikTok. Try the TikTok, baby. Try the TikTok. I did it and look what happened. Mm -hmm. Now we here. Nice. See, mama always knows. Nah, so facts. who's on your team? Obviously, your mom is. I would say my mom, mm-hmm. my girlfriend, mm-hmm. um, Rocco, which is my engineer. Okay. He worked with, like, Timberland, NBA young boy. Nice. He's nasty with his. Um, and you use the same the same engineer? I use the same engineer. And if it's not him, I, I record myself. Okay. I know how to oh, record nice. myself and stuff. Okay, that's dope. And then shout out to um one of the first producers that ever produced me, um Snoopy Fiasco. He's from Queens. Mm. So, you know, I shout out them. So I say, like, that's my team. Okay. Like, people who I worked with in the past. And, and also Gene Gray. Shout out to him, my mentor, somebody. I wouldn't be doing music if it wasn't for him. Okay. So, That's yeah. dope. You have a lot of people that it seems like support you. Yeah, support Now, people, I man. wouldn't... I'm curious. Is UG Black your government name? Nah. It's not? Nah. Okay, so, so you, how did... I can talk about my real name. No, I mean, you don't even have to talk no, about okay, your real I, name, I, I but how did you... I want to explain something. I want to explain something. Let me, let me do my thing. Go ahead, go ahead. Do your okay. thing. Do your thing. So, my real name... I'm just going to say my last name. So, my last name is Castillo, right? Okay. And Castillo, in English, means castle, mm-hmm. right? So, it was funny. One time, it was like, why... You know something? Like, my name is Castillo Ray, Castle, so I'm going to be the king. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, I just feel like you manifest good stuff, mm-hmm. good stuff's going to come back to you. Like, I'm going to be the king okay. of everything. So then where did Eugene Black come from? Okay, so Eugene Black came from. So my dad 
was trying to start like like he always wanted to be like an R and B singer, but he can't sing. But he was like <laughs> he always wanted to be R and B singer, but he couldn't sing. Mm -hmm. So he was like, if I was an R and B singer, I would call myself Eugene Black. So then mm -hmm. later on, I started doing music and stuff. He told me this when I was young. Mm -hmm. So later on, when I started doing music and stuff, I was like, oh, I should call myself Eugene Black. You know, kind of like a legacy type exactly. of deal. Exactly. Okay, that's exactly. nice. Exactly. Because I was wondering, like, where, I didn't know. It's not like a real name, right? Yeah, because I'm like, I was going to ask, like, how important do you think an artist's name is to their brand? It is. Because I, not, gonna, not to say that the name is bad. It's not mm -hmm. a bad name at all. Right. But, like, when I think Eugene, uh -huh. And then I hear like the music that yeah, yeah, yeah. it's two different things. Like I'm okay, not. Okay, so what what do you think of when you hear Eugene? Right? When I hear Eugene, I'm thinking like <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I'm thinking SpongeBob. Shout out to I Eugene thought about the Krabs. same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Krabs. But no, I'm thinking like some kind of like soulful blues, like blues type of like <laughs> yeah, like Deep in your feelings, <laughs> like Eugene. Like, nah, you facts, heard that facts, Eugene facts. song? Yeah, that Eugene. But nah, exactly, like, but exactly like, what you just did. Like, oh, you like that Eugene song? That's the feeling I want to give people. Okay. Oh, you're like, oh yeah, you heard about Eugene? Eugene Black about to be something. Oh, mm -hmm. Eugene? Mm, it's eccentric. Nice. Exactly. So <laughs> we know what you got coming up. You got a project in the works. Right. Is there anything else for 2022 that you see working for yourself outside of your project, outside of Peru? Anything else you got on your list? I want to do a lot of modeling. I mm -hmm. did modeling in the past, you know, to support my brand and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like modeling and acting. Because, mm, nice. like, me and my girl does, like, a lot of TikTok videos, a lot of skits. I like, and even if you ever watch my music videos, mm -hmm. a lot of skits, yeah. a lot of... A lot of it's movies. I feel like people don't make music videos how they used to. Mm -hmm. I feel like everybody's just on the corner. Da 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 da. da. Mm -hmm. like, it's cool. Like that's raw. It's raw. But I feel like you could put a little spice to that. Yeah. Because even in my videos, see me like yeah, I was on the corner, but I made a I made a whole idea to it. I saw. So I it saw makes that. sense, you know. Mm hmm. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. So we definitely looking forward to seeing what you got in the works. Nah, definitely. So is there anything else that you want to talk about before we wrap up? Okay, so all I'm going to say is that, number one, mm -hmm. Peru song of the summer. Right? We already know this. <laughs> number two, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm starving. starving. I've been, I've been waiting starving, for this starving. moment. Starving. I've been waiting for this. I manifested talk of the town. I manifested on the radar. Manifesting from the block. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it by the end. And we'll be rooting for you. Nah, definitely. Nothing definitely. is unattainable. So thank exactly. you once again for coming here. So happy to have you. Shout out your social media handles. So you know my Instagram is Eugene Black 22 Let me say it again. <laughs> Eugene Black 22 And my TikTok is E.Black22. You already know the vibes. It's your boy. Yo, E, go get it. Ah! <laughs> right, and we out of here. <laughs>